This is not a team sport. It's all about the individual. I didn't become an Olympic gold medalist. A 12-time world heavyweight champion. By depending on the help of others. Motivation. Dedication. Determination. The will never to give up. Never to quit. Only come from within. I sacrificed my body, my soul, to get to the top. To stay at the top. To retain power, glory, control. This is who I am. This is what I do. Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Trip on a Multiverse with your hosts, Kyle Charles and CY. Um, just a new intro to our Kurt Angle Part 2 episode, because obviously the last episode went a bit too long, so I had to cut it to two. So this is it, and <clears throat> I legit can't remember where we left off. I think we're starting on Kirk's TNA career, but we'll see in a second. Well, I'll <laughs> speak to you guys at the end. Or you'll probably hear my voice straight after this, but whatever. Hope you enjoy. Bye. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Trip Around Multiverse with your host, the <coughs> human suplexing machine, Kyle Charles, and my partner, CY, who's not actually here, because this is the second part of an episode that we ran too long and we split it into two. So, in this part of the episode, we're going to speak about Kurt Angle's time in TNA slash Impact Wrestling. Hope you'll enjoy and catch you in a bit. Bye. But yeah, yeah. What, what did you think when he first appeared in TNA? Um, I was confused. Okay, okay. Because right. like I remember, I was following the whole situation quite closely at the time, and yeah. he asked for his release from WWE because he wanted to get like surgery or whatever. And then literally, like the next week, he signed the TNA. I was like, oh, okay, that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> Yeah, I think at this point as well, the drugs were hitting him uh, yeah. really. Like when I say the drugs, I mean like the painkillers and whatnot. Yeah. And then and he... I think they wanted to go to they. He was like supposed to go to rehab or something. Yeah. So he turned he's... that down. Yeah. yeah. To go then... to TNA, yep. um, which was all right. Not. I mean, you should have probably been taking care of your health firstly. Yep. Mm. Um. But you know, hey. Each their um, own. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I did enjoy his his um f- initial run in Impact. I thought it was pretty yeah. cool. Uh, who was did you? Name? Okay, so when he first came, right, and he got into his feud with Samoa Joe. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and for what reason, by the way? And it seemed like the only reason was oh, because Samoa Joe is number one, and I want to be number one in this company. Therefore. <laughs> Which mm. would makes logical sense, by the way. Yeah. Mm. But I don't think they should have Samoa Joe lose to Kurt Angle. No, it like, made no sense. Yeah, I think they should have had Joe win because yeah. he was getting hot, run like a you know towards the world title at that point, the NWA title. Yeah. Um, if they had Joe win the first match and they Kurt Angle win the second match, and then they could have get to a tie break at some point. Yeah. That would have made more sense, but it didn't. Yeah. Yeah, because they would have just established like, oh, not WWE guys, WWE guys come in here and then defeat our guy who no one can defeat for eighteen months. Yep, you know, um, stupid. Yeah, logically speaking, that should have had Smojo win, win the title, and then get into something else with like where Kurt Angle will get his win back later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could revisit um, it down the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Kurt Angle is legit enough that uh, like a uh, loss don't really bother him. No. Um, yeah, like, I, okay, we'll move on to something else first. But what did you think? Um, when they had their MMA style match, um, yeah. I didn't really like it, I thought it was a bit okay. Meh. I, I okay, I like the, the, the style of the match was different, yeah, yeah, I get from, that, yeah, uh, from usual matches, right? And I would say their their match is more like a Shibata match now ish. Yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. like a precursor to it. Yeah, um, that, yeah, yeah. Because Shibata matches are like, well, you are strong style. We just kick the crap out of each other. Yep. Here oh, they're still they're still working with each other and they're not kicking each other stiff. 
Yeah. It's the only difference, really. Yeah. And it was kind of like... Here's the thing, right? It's like MMA, but not. Which yeah. is weird, because either you are you are trying to be legit, or you're not being legit, and you've been wrestling. You know what I mean? You're, you're yeah, working yeah, yeah. cooperatively. It um, was like MMA light. Yeah. Yeah. Best yeah. way to put it. Yeah. Yeah, cooperative MMA, which is kind yeah. of <laughs> a, bit of a, a bit of an awkward one. Yeah. Cooperative MMA, um, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I did like how he... So the main event, Mafia. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think of that run? Um, <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. It kind of started <laughs> out with States Welcome, like most things in wrestling. But yeah. I enjoyed but the first initiate initi- initi- the first version of it. Yeah, the one was, where Sting know. was the champion and Kurt Angle was the uh, not the underling but like the number two guy. Yeah, he's team, like yeah. the on the boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and it made sense by the way when you put that stable together of Sting, yeah, Nash, um, Steiner, Booker, and uh, Kurt Angle. Yeah. Yeah, Sting leader. Yeah, fine. Cat will do all the talking. Yeah, yeah, that's also fine. You know. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But... Obviously, obviously, Cat. He must be. He, he, you know, betrayal in his eyes because he had to be number one. Yeah. But I didn't like how Samoa Joe got into the group because it was it was a silly one where he. Okay, they had the King of the Mountain match, where it's the reverse ladder match where um. <sighs> yeah. So you've got to pin an opponent to qualify yeah. to be able to grab the title and then hang the title. Like, climb the ladder and hang the title, right? Yeah. And the opponent goes into a penalty box if they get pinned. Yeah, for like a m- it, for two minutes or something like that. Yeah, and there's like five people in total. Yeah. So, end of that match, um, Samoa Joe has the title and Kurt Angle's climbing up the ladder on the other side and Joe's about to hang the t- uh, title up. Instead, he hands over the cut angle tang up and I'm like, what? Yep. Why? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. What was the point of this? Yeah. 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 Um, was this the match where, okay, so who did he feud with? So I think after that, <clears throat> he, he, did he have his feud with, oh, am I, am I mixing things up there? Um, yeah, because I'm heading towards a particular direction. I'm going to speak about this first because I'm heading this way. Um, after the main event, Mafia. Yeah. I think who did he? he so AJ won the title in a five way match, which wasn't really a five way because Hernandez got pile driven right away. Yeah. Um, on the ramp or something like that because Cashin is actually feast or fired. Yeah. But he just, yeah, it was gone. It wasn't a five-way, but then it was supposed to be a six-way, but didn't, that didn't happen. Anyways, it had a Sting, Matt Morgan, AJ Styles, and Kurt Angle, and maybe someone else. I can't remember. Yeah. This is what AJ won the title. Because um, Sting decided, you know, like I think Kurt Angle was down or something like that. Mm. And then Sting decided he's going to attack the people on the outside and say and give AJ the rub. But, you know, AJ, you go and, um, you go and get the pin. Yeah. And then did um I don't I can't remember exactly did did uh Kurt Angle feud with Matt Morgan after this? I can't remember. I don't think he because he did turn face. He did turn face right after the main event mafia finished. Um, yeah, and he's like, oh yeah, no, I. I... <laughs> so first of all, he disrespects everyone in his main event mafia, and then he says, you know what, you know what, I'll do. I, I respect all sorts of people now. You know, I look at it, everyone in uh, my locker room is my equal and my peers, right? Yeah. And then our boy Desmond Wolf walks in there. <laughs> uh. Mr. Angle, got to shake your hand. He goes, yeah, yeah, see? And then Kyle's like, yeah, yeah, new, new guy, yeah, man. Um, And then Kyle Angle turns you into and says, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, the respect from, uh, I respect this guy, this guy respects me. Desmond Wolf just takes off his glasses and gives him a discus close line. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I, don't, I don't remember that. His sunglasses, right? Yeah. Boom. Um, and they had a great series as well, um, which I personally think Desmond Wolf not necessarily should have won, or he should have. He could have been. He should have won the the one uh, that went into the like number one contenders after this. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, Kurt is already established. Like you can only help establish a guy. Whether he wins by shenanigans or not, I mean, he, he, yeah, if he wins one match cleaner than another match by shenanigans, and he get and he gets into the uh, world title picture, yeah, 
then you've then you've made another headliner. Yeah, uh, yeah Nigel yeah. McGuinness, of course, is really good. So, hmm. but no. Uh, yeah, yeah. Who knows why they didn't do that? Because um, when they are, I think they had they had, the, they had a singles match. Hmm. Um, where Kurt Angle won with an armbar, right? Yeah. Which you can buy because it's like, wait a minute. And even 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 Desmond Wolf, Nigel McGuinness himself was like, "What was that? Yeah, know, yeah. Did he did he did he pin him with was it a triangle choke or something like that? Anyways, he didn't win with his usual submission, so it made a lot of sense. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't have expected that. Yeah. <laughs> and then he also they had a two out of three falls cage match ish mm. thing. Yeah. Where I think so, Desmond Wolf got the tower, got the 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 top rope diamond cutter, aka the Tower of London. Yeah, Kurt Angle got the pin, with, uh, the, got the submission with the because it's second match of submission. Yeah, he got it with the ankle lock, and then it was a cage match, the last one. So you either get out of the cage, I think you first want to get out of the cage. Mm. But this is where they started making Desmond Wolf look bad because towards at, at, towards the end of the match, Kurt Angle had the ankle lock on him. Right. Yeah. And uh, because he was going, Desmond Wolf was the direction of the door. Yeah. I think he like he was tapping right, but obviously as he's still conscious. Yeah. If De- Kurt Angle tries to go into the door, he's going to grab him. Yeah. 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 So he, he kept on putting him in the ankle lock until he fainted, right? Which doesn't make sense with an ankle lock, by the way, because yeah. you're not in pain or discomfort. No. Your ankle is going to break and it's going to be in ruins. <laughs> yeah. So you can't pass that. That's why you tap. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, so he faints, um, <clears throat> and then Kurt Angle then climbs the tries to climb the cage door out. I mean, climbs tried to climb the cage wall out, right? Yeah. While uh, Desmond Wolf suddenly revives and he starts scrambling for the door. Mm. If anything, I think Desmond Wolf should have won like that, right? But Kurt yeah. Angle managed to get out of the cage as well, and and the uh, and his feet touched the floor before Desmond Wolf, and it's like so. Two out of three falls for it, right? He won one fall, and you defeated him, like, with a submission. He tapped out again. He get, went unconscious, like I said, TKO. And then you win with your uh, the cage match because your feet kind of touched the ground. Yeah. It's like, right, that doesn't make him look good. <laughs> no. Yeah. If anything, he should have won. Like, you know, he should have been the first one out of the cage, and at least it's something, you know? Yeah. Um. Yeah. But um, yeah, so that was that. Um, what did you think of Kurt Angle's um, run where he won all the tiles? Won all the. So he had. Okay, so he won the. Well, he had the TNA World Tile. Yeah. <clears throat> he had the X Division Tile. Who did he defeat? Oh, same. So I, I like this series, by, by the way, the setup, right? So Kurt Angle had the World Tile. The Dudleys. Slash Team 3D had the tag tiles and Samojo had the exhibition tile. Yeah, and it was going in the TNA um, <coughs> TNA match that they were going to like you know um, Kurt Angle Samojo versus Team 3D. Yeah, for the tiles, uh, like winner take all. Yeah, yeah. Um, which like I'm like Team 3D, but they they're not likely going to win the world tile or the exhibition tile. Anyways, whoever pins whoever gets their tiles. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, right. So then I think Samoa Joe pins Team 3D, and he got he gets the tag tiles, holding it by himself. By the way, yeah, that was kind of funny as well. Yeah, uh, because the next match they're leading to in the pay per view after that is like, all right, Kurt Angle's got the IWGP, the illegitimate IWGP title. Yeah, that he won off Brock Lesnar, right? Yep. Uh, Oh, that's a not funny situation. Yeah. Yeah. He had the TNA world title. Um, yeah. And then Smojo had the, the X Division title and the tag team titles. And it's like, yep, winner take all. Winner take everything. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, Smojo lost because of Cameron Angle's interference. Um, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, Kurt had all the titles. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. Which I think he. So I don't know what I can't. I think he lost the IWGP title to Nakamura in a uh, unification title match in Japan, which TNA did not acknowledge, right? Because yeah. just suddenly didn't have that title. Now that no. never spoke of again. Yeah, yeah. Um, he lost the 
the X Division title to Jay Lethal, which was good on him, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think he lost the. He had to pick a tag team partner to help him defend the titles against the opposition, whatever team it was. Right? Hmm. Was this was this when he was um, against our tr- No, no, maybe I'm mix- mixing up. Who did he? Do you remember who he lost the um, the tag titles to at that point? Uh, I was gonna say I don't think it was our truth and that football dude. Yeah, uh, uh, Pat Man Jones, eight, yeah. Uh, which also was Consequences Creed because he yeah he took he, took, he, he defended it for some reason. Um, yeah, he helped our truth defend it for some reason. Yeah, never made any sense. Um, yeah. without ever being a champion, by the way. I really don't remember. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I don't yeah. remember who. Wait, wait, no, it was. It was. He lost it to Pac-Man Jones and R-Truth somehow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was um, him and Sting. Um, Because he got to choose his own tag team partner. Yeah. So I think it was, um, yeah. Can go Sting. Um, yeah. I think, oh, yeah, because... Kurt Angle, of course, decided he's going to go and uh, turn on Sting and let Pat Jones be champion for whatever reason. Who, <laughs> by the way, was yeah. not allowed to get physical in this match. Yeah, because he was caught so, or something, in it? Yeah. yeah, but it didn't make any sense because then... But how are you going to be in a wrestling ch- company and not wrestle... No, okay, not wrestle fine, right? But <clears throat> not get physical? That's, that, that means no one can touch you. You can't touch anyone. Yeah, right. I don't know. This is why it was dumb. This is when yeah. TNA was just doing stuff to do stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which didn't really help yeah. in the long run, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So that was that was uh, yeah. And then um, this yeah, he then uh defeated Abyss in in it was TNA No Surrender two thousand and seven. Yeah. And then I think because he was leading into his match at. Bound for Glory against Sting. Mm. And what happened was at the end of that match, which Kurt Angle bust out a 450 splash for some reason. Yeah, random. He, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he missed, he, I think he didn't quite get a, a, the rotation because his knees were like he, it was a 360. It was like a six, it was, yeah, it was like a 360. Oh, well, I say like a 400 degree splash. Cause yeah, yeah. Because the, yeah. the knees were all over Sting. Yeah. Um, didn't look yeah. right. No, but this is also where he Kurt Angle went to get Sting's baseball bat and hit Sting with it. Except Sting didn't quite get the grab properly for yeah, it. Yeah, and it so he hit Sting and Sting basically went to grab it. Yeah, it hit him, but his hands were still on it, so he no sold it. Yeah, I'm like, all right, kind of made made sense. Um, yeah, yeah. So and Sting win the tile there. Uh, yeah, all right, fine. No, 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 no issue with that. I mean, you know, it it kind of it. Was what it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um. But let me backtrack a second. Yep. Right. Because uh, I I'm just remember bits and pieces. Right. Mm. Um. Yeah. So when remember when AJ Styles was in the Christian Coalition. Yeah. Yeah. And then he turned on Christian. Yep. And went for the uh, and joined the Angle Alliance. Yeah? yeah. And which was like okay. And Kurt Angle's the face of TNA at this point, right? Yeah. Uh, sorry, AJ Styles is more of the face of TNA. Mm. Which I found AJ Styles, TNA, they couldn't quite, like, as a, he, like, I think he got much better after he joined Christian. Yeah. Um, I, say, I say that because as a face or a heel, he was a bit more, he was a bit plain. Yeah. But I think when he joined with Christian, Christian, like, you know, helped him loosen up a bit, you know? Yeah, you don't need to be super serious or super mature. You can be an idiot, right? Yeah, yeah, and it's hundred percent fine. But his uh, it's like his maturity, AJ's maturity level just dropped. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. Yeah, and then he, so uh, for some reason, for some reason, um, I don't know if what, is Karen Angle older than AJ? Yeah, by a lot or a little. I don't think by a lot, but they played it like it was. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
because he was he was he was infatuated with her somehow, yeah. knowing by the way that AJ's married <laughs> at yep. this point and has, and has a good many couple children. of kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, yeah, but for some reason, infatuated. Fair enough, fair enough, whatever, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, Kurt Angle and Karen Angle were going to renew their vows for whatever reason they were going to do that. Yeah. Christian interfered, knocked that, all, stopped all of that stuff, and then AG somehow married Kurt, uh, Kurt's wife in this fr- fr- uh, ruckus. Do you remember that? Yeah, I think this is when I started checking out TNA. You know? I was like, I, all this I, 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 don't, I mean, I don't know how, obviously. He, 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 AJ was playing it like, oh yeah, he got to kiss Karen Angle and it's the, you know, most amazing thing ever, right? Yeah. Like a little kid who uh, was Chris, wait, waiting for Christmas, yeah? Yeah. But I was like, huh? <laughs> All right. I mean, I, I don't know, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that was about. Yeah, so weird. Um, I don't mind, like, it's weird to think of him as an underling because, our, like, I think before this point, he was not, he was definitely. One of the, their top tier guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and he was always established, even though he, he wasn't. Uh, didn't need to be the main event all the time. No. Yeah, he 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 he. It's like, well, you you what you're saying here is, Kurt Angle and Christian are above him. Yeah. Because he saying? dropped down. You know. I I I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I know, but I, I don't remember that one. I was like. Uh, I don't. What's his obsession with Kurt, uh, Kurt Angle's wife? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So very, very, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. So you said ma- uh, main event mafia and stuff. Like- I did have to say Kurt Angle did get a good couple of people over in in, in TNA. He didn't, yeah, it he wasn't. Did. All, yeah. I mean, he did win quite a decent amount of matches, right? Yeah. And he did win quite a amount of titles. Yeah. Mm. But. I don't think he del- he never made everyone completely like they come out of it looking de- like depending on the matches right they, yeah some of the people you know he'd help people look good as well in the process yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, he does yeah but the thing is like you're saying his match has got a bit formulated because it's like all right we're gonna do this that and the other get to an angle slam where you kick out and then i'll spam the ankle lock and stuff yeah. like that it always seemed to me like Lowell's <laughs> angle wins sort of thing yeah 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 well yeah well Lola angle wins with Ankle lock because after the kick out of uh, yeah. angle slam, um, yeah, basically. Yeah. Did you do you remember he had a good couple of matches with uh, Frankie Kazarian? No, I think I was, I didn't watch it at that time, right? right. So, uh. from what I remember, this is when I uh, th- this is Russo, so it didn't make any sense, mm. uh, even though it did make sense, <laughs> yeah. So, Frankie Kazarian, I think they were trying to make another kind of a headline of um, with it, yeah? Yeah. So, he'd get these, all the, like, win all these tile, sh- he'd win X Division tile shots or world tile shots and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Which is good because you're, you're making him look like a winner, look good, yeah? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I think that the first time, the first, the start of this was when he had a, uh, there was a, uh, a, t- uh, a world tile tournament. Yeah. And he was in the finals with uh, Christian. And yeah. it was a ladder match for the contract. Mm. And uh, this is where Kurt Angle and Tom, I would say AJ and Tomko were like, uh, Christian's like, don't, I don't need you guys' help. I can beat this guy by myself. And then AJ's like, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, right, right. Yeah. And then AJ, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Christian's like, no, for reals. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, I get you, I get you. And so when Christian goes out for his entrance, AJ's like, yeah, let's go and help him. And Tom Crow's like, he just told us not to. And AJ's like, yeah, yeah, but he didn't really tell us not to, even though he did. Yeah. Um, so they have their match. Uh, Frankie Kazarian and, and uh, Christian have their match. Christian's at the top of the ladder, about to grab the thing. He sees Tom Crow and uh, AJ come out. Yeah. Which, at the point they come out, it makes no sense. Yeah. Um, unless, you know, maybe it should have been Frank, like, they're both climbing the ladder or something like that and maybe I put I rakes Frankie Kazarian and then he sees the side them on anyways so um they come out Frankie Kazarian tips the ladder over and uh Christian lands on top of those uh AJ and Tomko hmm. and Frankie Kazarian then win, uh, wins the number one co- like title contender thing anyways so yeah he'd get all these title shots and like like a big push right even yeah. though he couldn't win the title it's just like 
Yeah, but he's constantly at the top. Yeah. And then Kurt, then um Yeah, and then he had this couple of matches with Kurt Angle because you know he had to he won the number of contenders. And even though they weren't like super long matches, like yeah. seven minutes or something like that, yeah. it made him look like it it, it did make uh Frank Kazarian look at that level because uh even though Kurt Angle kicked out of a, a uh flux capacitor, which is a top rope exploder suplex. Yeah. And the um, Back to the Future, the Wave of the Future, which is the Blade Runner. Yeah. Blade. All right, nullify this guy's finishes, whatever, Kurt. Yeah. But, you know, Kurt also had to do like a roll up pin because I think they messed up something, um, like a, a roll through or something. Like Kurt, Kurt basically chicken winged him, yeah. no, like run, like uh, uh, face locked him and then rolled him like for a pin, even though Frank Zemery could have kicked out of it. Um, yeah. But no, it made him look good. And he had another match with Kurt Angle as well, way late, a bit later on, yeah. where he looked good as well. So I was like, oh, they could have done something with the guy. Obviously, t- typical Russo fashion, right? After all the losses I had, I'm going to uh, decide to, you know, wrestling isn't for me. I'm at a crisis of con- conscience and confidence and stuff like yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah. Goes away, disappears, comes back as suicide. Why? <laughs> You had a guy at the edges of the fringes of being another like a headliner for your company and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. Russo gonna yeah. Russo. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. That's a, that's another. But that's one of the other things I remember of Kurt Angle, uh, in in uh, TNA. Um, yeah. Um. What, what, uh, uh, yeah. So um. What other stuff is there with Kurt Angle? I mean, he had, had a very long career. Yeah, that much. Very long. And would you say? What did you did you earlier say his TNA run was better than his um, WWF run? Um, I would say yes and no, because okay. like his TNA run was good and everything, but because mm. his WWE run was so short, it has yeah. more memorable moments. If that makes sense. I think I think he had um, a different type, of, more uh, of a variety of opponents in TNA because they were pushing people that could do fast paced matches as well, and not mm. necessarily small, right? Yeah, yeah. Because they had big people as well. But WWE don't didn't tend to do super fast, like they don't have a variety of opponents like in that style. Because Frank Kazarian is six foot two, but he's can do cruiserweight stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. AJ Styles as well, and all that stuff. Um, yeah. Like uh, you got a best of big guys and stuff. I'd say so. His, his matches were more mixed in uh, TNA. Yeah, but then it, it kind of makes it more like blend into one. If that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The other thing I remember was uh, when Bobby Roode won the first ever TNA. What was it called? Their version of the G1 climax, but not Blanford Glory. The Blanford Glory series. Yeah. 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 Which. Do you remember the rules for that, by the way? Um, if you win, you get like two points. If you lose, you get zero. If you draw, you get one. Yeah. And then the person with the most points goes to a final with the person with the second most points, and the person wins gets a title shot. Yeah, yeah. but but there were other rules that you missed out. Oh. <laughs> right, so if you got disqualification... Yeah. All count, count out, you lose points. That was it, yeah, 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 yeah. And if you win by submission, yeah, you get more points. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, you get three points sense. for a submission win for some reason. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, which, by the way, in this first bound for Glory series, Smojo ended up with minus 10 points. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very stupid. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Um, yeah, and some people did not finish, but then because that got Samoa Joe into the wall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which why he got me- he he he. So he with minus ten points end up higher ranked than some people who had who were in who were like actual win matches that that had positive points. Yeah. All right, <laughs> this is why it didn't really make sense. The whole thing, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Wait, hold on. I, they might have modified the scoring later on, but um, for what, what I'm seeing here, right? Yeah. Submission is 10 points. Yeah. Pinfall is 7 points. Countout is 5 points. Yeah. 
If that's if you win, right? Mm. Disqualification is three points and a draw is two points. Yeah. Uh, with a disqualification, losing a wrestler ten points. Yeah. Oh. Um, which I think is very okay. As far as point like this, this sort of match with these sort of points, you have to plan well far in advance because you need to work out what, exactly what you're doing and where. Yeah. Whereas I want to say the G G one climax because you only like if you win, you get three points. Draw one point and lost zero points. Yeah. 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 You can the, the the ranges of winning and losing are tighter. Yeah. So you can always like you can plan out things easier. Mm. Um. But yeah. And so um, this is where Bobby Roode won because they were trying to make a new star. Yeah. Which deservedly, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then um, this is when AJ Styles was okay. This is where Immor- was it Immortal and Fortune were feuding, if you remember correctly. Or maybe I'm misremembering this section. Okay. So Fortune yeah. being the four horsemen stable of TNA, except that there was not always more than four people yeah, in the stable for some reason. No sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Bobby Roode, yeah, he won the one- Bound for Glory series, I think, in the stable. At the time, there was four people. Yeah. Uh, AJ Styles, Frankie Kazarian, James Storm, uh, yeah, and Bobby Roode. And yep. then what he was like, what they were saying to him, Bobby Roode, let's see if you went like, at his own stable mates, like, you know, we're going to prep you for Cat Angle. So you got to run through the best at TNA, which is us. Yeah. yeah. So he ran, he went, he defeated uh, Frankie Kazarian the first uh, uh, in, in one impact, then he defeated Bobby, uh, James Storm in another impact. And then defeat finally cut uh, AJ Styles in another one, right? To help legitimize him. And it did make sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And ready for his match with Kurt Angle. Which yeah. then Bobby Roode lost. And people were like, huh? But this, bear in mind, this was the same night at Bound for Glory where Hogan yeah. had his match, with, surprisingly good match with Sting, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then Hogan wanted the big pop for his. Uh, um, he was going to turn into more to, like Sting's like help me Hogan help me yeah and then Hogan all bloodied and everything like that it's about to like they're looking at him to fish, do the finishing blow and Sting and Hogan holds up and beats up all the mortal as they run towards him by the way because he can't move to them yeah 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 they got, they got fight around him yeah 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 yeah, yeah. so okay and Hogan being Hogan it's like oh yeah I want people to remember the battle for glory for the Hogan yeah yeah Except, except that people kind of remember it for Bobby Roode losing because it made no sense. Yeah. Makes um, sense. Yeah, and I think also in this match, which was a good match, by the way, uh, it was like it was. It would have been more memorable if Bobby Roode won because that's where it was yeah. leading to. But this was also a very funny thing at the end where I think the ref went to count the three count, but his his hand hit the rope or something like that. Yeah. As well, for no reason other than just bad positioning. Yeah. And people were like. Right, you know, uh, I, I, was that something or something like that? Was that leading to something? And these are like one of those coincidences you like, was that done? You know, when they set the table and they go through the table themselves and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. there a reason for that? No, there wasn't no reason for that. Just because they were too close to the ropes, so I can't angle, I had to roll them up. Um, but yeah, this is where. Kurt Angle, I, I can't remember the exactties of the situation, but he might have just been boasting that he, he beat up. Um, <laughs> Bobby Roode and then Lance Storm's like, alright, I'm gonna challenge you. But also Cat Angle had his groin injury, so he was uh putting through that. So logically speaking, Cat Angle should have lost. Yeah. Um because the match was alright with Bobby Roode, only because Cat Angle like basically man's injured, right? Yeah. You gotta yeah, get yeah. that title off him. Yeah. No, Hogan, no, I'm not gonna have it. <laughs> alright. Um So he yeah, Cat Angle then just uh, says, all right, I'll fight you, uh, James Storm, right? Hmm. They have the match, and basically, Kurt Angle punches James Storm a couple of times in the corner, like into the corner of the of the turnbuckle, punches them some more. Referee pulls them away, punches them some more. Referee's like, all right, all right stop, stop, you know, stop, like, you know, you got you got to give him some breathing room, right? Yeah. Kurt Angle turns around, gets the last cool super kick, gets a pin, one, two, three, right? This is like a minute, which was surprising. Yeah. But good one, James Storm, by the way, because the crowd was still cheering him and everything like you deserve and everything like. Yeah. And all fortune came out to congratulate him and stuff like that, which then 
he held the title for a week if you go by TV taping, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. TV uh, broadcast, but really two days because they, they were holding a, a TNA taping the next day. Yeah. And where Bobby Reed then turned on James Storm and yeah, the title was mine all along, even though he gave James Storm the title and said, you deserve it. Like, yeah. okay. You know, when it didn't even have time for the jealousy to, to set in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was kind of silly. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. So I just remember Kurt Angle losing like that, which I was like, Okay. Sure. Yeah. I actually kind of accept it though. Yeah. Like, get knocked out in a minute of your match, right? Yeah. Not because he was injured or anything, but kind of not because of the storylines in the direction. It's just like, you know what, yeah? You just underestimate the guy completely. <laughs> yeah. And you got taught a lesson. <laughs> That's why you should never underestimate somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Um, but the thing is with Kurt. He was dropping weight. He looked small. Yeah, like, yeah. he didn't look healthy. Yeah. I, and I think sometimes, I don't want to say necessarily he was out of it or stuff like that, but it just seems sometimes he, he, he he's capable of going once you got him in that ring. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just but out of the ring, he's like, I don't want to say in the days or something like that. You know, just like sometimes he's like, Kurt, are you, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The cry for help. Yeah. All right. So he's, uh, yeah. Return to WWE. What did you think of? Um, what, any opinions on that? Um, it was nice to see him back. Um, <laughs> no, like, All right. it was. And then the last yeah. kind of two matches he had were pretty decent. Yeah. 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 Like, probably the highlight was him joining the Shield that one time. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, wait, wait, okay, when you say the good, uh, like, so, so, were you thinking of the, uh, no, hold on, no, I'm mixing things up, so, uh, how many, how many, do you, when he came back, right, Yeah. all I could think was, don't wrestle, please, yeah, for your own sake, you yeah, know? Yeah. I thought I'm um, glad he didn't wrestle that much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, like, like the guy's got a per- enough personality to carry things just by his mic work. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I wish he was safer on himself. Yeah. And here's the thing with Kurt Angle. You could do his matches. Like, he could have his matches um, Olympic wrestling style yeah. in some parts, you know? If you slow down the match or if, you, if you're like, all right, my bump count is kind of high, actually. Let me tweak this match. Let me... Let me put this match together in a way that I don't have to take a lot of bumps. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and, it, and it worked for him. Yeah, it did. Because they put in people in the ring with like people that are kind of safe to work with. So it was fine. Yeah. Yeah. But just some, sometimes like, you know, when he's taking a moonsault bumps off the cage and stuff like that, you're like, you don't yeah, need you to do that. Do that. You, yeah. you, you especially do not You've need to do that. You've already established yourself. You don't need to take any stupid risks. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, I know, I know you want the big pop every now and then, right? But save it, you know, yeah. save it for the occasion where you feel like you need to. Don't do it on every occasion because then it gets watered down. But at the same time as well, you're, 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 after you've watered down to a certain point, you, you, what kind of, you know, they, the people expect it of you. Yeah. Rather than anticipate it from you. Yeah. So I always going to do this. Uh, he's bound to yeah. do that in this match. Yeah. Yeah. Any Kurt Angle match that you wish you could have seen that didn't happen? Obviously, I'm going to say the one with uh, Bret Hart and the one with Daniel Bryan could have been something. And I think, actually, they were trying to build... I think... Who was it? Oh, yeah. So, when Kurt Angle was in TNA and Daniel Bryan got fired, hmm. Paul ha- I think they were trying to get Paul Heyman to yeah. to write t- like to be one of the bookers in TNA Yeah, yeah, yeah. at that. some point. Yeah. And Paul Heyman was like, well, yeah, but you got to get rid of the people that are over 40. Yeah. Right. And I don't think he meant everyone because Christo Daniels was over 40, right? But I think he meant all, like the people that are not helping elevate talent. Yeah. Yeah. And he said he was going to try and get Brian Danielson, yeah. Daniel Bryan, into TNA. His plan was to build towards Kurt Angle versus Brian Danielson. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and I think Brian, Brian Danielson versus Kurt Angle would be a better match than Daniel Bryan versus Kurt Angle. Yeah, it would be. Because even though it's the same guy, he wrestles different styles. Yeah. Big different styles. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. Uh, any 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 like matches that you would have liked to see Kurt Angle win? Um. Maybe against like Kenny Omega or something like that, but actually no, he would probably die because Kenny's too. Well, the, the, I think the well the styles like I think as far as personalities go, right? Fair enough because they can both be bombastic and over the top. But yeah. I think Kenny's style is different from Kurt Angle's style. Um, I don't know say oh whether they mesh well or not, right? But it'd be it would be some uh, probably a sight to behold. Um, surprisingly, I might say Okada as well. Not surprising, not surprisingly, but just like it's like one of those things where you're like, okay, they, 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 like the styles are different, yeah, but I think they they can make it work around, yeah, they can make it work, yeah, because yeah. both what they do, they're both really crisp at what they do, it's, yeah, you know, um, insane risk as well, because yeah, I mean, when you say that if it was a Kenny versus uh Kurt Angle match and someone might die, right. Yeah, you know those uh, um, German suplex. Uh, sorry, those dragon um, snap dragon suplexes off the yeah. top rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, completely unnecessary. Some yeah. would have, yeah, some would have been finished for real for that. Yeah, and Kurt would probably go out his way to make that move look more dangerous than it should be, and then end up being crippled or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, like Josh Alexander, what about him? Actually, would you yeah, say, that'd be pretty good. Would you say he Josh Alexander's like a spiritual successor to Kurt Angle? Because yes. I know he has the ankle lock and the uh, the 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 Olympic kind of gimmick ish. Yeah, yeah. He has the the shoot wrestler sort of gimmick. Yeah, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that he's one to one Kurt Angle like uh, Renra no, 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 no. Narata is basically. Um, Shibata, but not. <laughs> yeah, and Shooter is basically Tanahashi. Yeah, um, but, but but also not. Yeah, no, I will say like he's a more modern day um, Kurt Angle. Yeah, a bit, a bit more of an edgy sort of look to him because you know he's got all the tattoos and uh, yeah. mm. head guard, and he does a C four spike. Yeah, uh, yeah, I did. I did like um. So Kurt Angle's matches with like Brock. Mm. Uh, with Samoa Joe, uh, uh, especially at the beginning, because later on they started to get more gimmicky. Yep. Yeah, they did. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think the first time Samoa Joe beat Kangle, Kangle tried to hit Samoa Joe with a chair and it bounced back in Kangle's face, and then Joe got him. And it's like, well, yeah, but that doesn't. I, I, I don't, like, Joe should have just choked him out, and that would have been that. Yeah. Should have yeah. been. Uh, but you see, um, like, Kangle was in the midst of the attitude at, at the very top of it yeah and he i think he made it enough for him to stand out there against like the rock and stone cold and stuff like that oh that reminds me um when stone cold defeated uh, so kurt angle defeated stone cold for the title right mm. and then oh yeah you know okay here, here here's the one here's the one uh, i think stone cold had a title um and he was with the alliance yeah and Kurt uh, was the number one contender. So Kurt, they have their match. Then the finish was was Stone Cold's the ankle lock, right? He grabbed the rope and he tapped out. Yeah. No, no. Did he grab the rope? I think he he had. Uh, I think it was the ring apron, so his hand was out of bounds. Yeah. Or maybe he did grab the rope. I can't remember exactly exact exactly of it. All I know is that he tapped out. But Stone Cold also like you know. It, sh- it shouldn't have counted it in my head, even though the referee counted it. And it's like, it's not even the angle of the referee. Because let's just say you're facing one direction. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as in with Triple H. Uh, and when, when you've seen the versus CM Punk, and he seen got a, G- uh, got a GTS, but his foot was on the rope, and Triple H couldn't see it because of the way, you know, the way he was counting. Fair enough, right? Yeah. But if you're looking at a man's hand to see he's tapping out, you, you can see where his other hand is. Yeah, you know, it's in the general vicinity of you. Yeah, but especially if it's in the rope, because then you have to be in the ring. Whereas if you say if you angled it diagonally, right, yeah. where you're only watching the hand that's going to be tap out, and you're looking back towards the other, per- like Kurt Angle holding Stone Cold in the ankle lock. Fair enough, you can't see the other hand. Yeah, right. But that would mean Stone Cold has can't be by the rope to do that. You know. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I was like, oh, okay, that makes no sense. Whatever, <laughs> you know. Like, sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, I do remember another match that Kurt Angle had um, with uh, The Undertaker. Yeah. Uh, I think this was... Be- when was this? When was this? Um, might have been after... When Kurt won the thingy jig uh, for the World Heavyweight title. Yeah. The, the, the Battle Royal. And he was heading into the feud with Rey Mysterio and, Kurt and uh, Randy Orton, maybe? I can't remember. One knows that Kurt Angle had the match with The Undertaker with, uh, where Kurt Angle had the title. Um... And Undertaker's counter to the ankle lock was to try and trap uh, Kurt Angle in the triangle choke. All yeah. the time. Like, you know, you pull him in. Like, if he has your leg, you, you roll over, you pull him in, yeah? Yeah. Um, and that was the main gimmick of the ma- not the main gimmick of the match, but you know that was the main point of the match. He's like, you try your submit your, your signature submission, and I've got a, the perfect counter to it. Um, and I, and it was a really good match actually because the first time I watched it, I didn't like it. Yeah. But the second time I watched it, I was like, actually, this makes a lot of sense, and it's way better than I thought. Um, Cat Angle won with like a he, like he was in the triangle. Yeah. And then he did a, a jackknife bridge on it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but it was actually really, really good. And I don't know why. Sometimes you know when you watch match uh, like match first time, you don't like it. And you watch it the second time, you're like, actually, it's really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then sometimes you watch a really good, uh, a good match for the time, right? And then you're like, actually, it isn't that good. Yeah, you watch it back, and you're like, oh, I got caught up in the hype. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, there's some other bits I remember about um, uh, Kurt Angle's matches. Yeah. Oh, okay. um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but some I think I think I think what was the the thing where in TNA where you start thinking not necessarily he's going downhill, but something's something's off key is he's bold, right? Yeah. <laughs> Except that he's had that that the 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 the, the, the fringes the, of having hair. Yeah, the side stubble sort of thing, and he, yeah, and, yeah, 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 and the yeah, beard yeah. that was kind of there, but not there, there. Yeah. So just like all right, you know. Yeah, that's when I was like, yeah, Kurt, man, it's something not right. Then I think yeah. not long after that's when he got, I say suspended. When he got done for like drink driving something like that, then he went, sent him to rehab. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I think his career could, could have lasted longer if you. Hello. Hello. After yourself. Hello. Hello. Oh, Hello? Karen. Sorry, you cut. You cut for a second. But yeah, sorry. Yeah. What you saying? Yeah, he's got a broken neck. He really should be looking after himself uh, much yeah. more. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you ever buy that stuff where he said he was going to go do uh, MMA and no. or, or like the Olympic re- Olympic wrestling? Fine, yeah. I could accept that. You know? MMA, I don't think so because if they pick you up and dump you in your neck, you're dead. You're you you're dead. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, he would be dead, especially because yeah. of how he's like his neck's basically hanging on by a piece of string. Yeah, he would have. Yeah. Surely um, perished. Yeah, exactly. If he went into MMA after um, Olympic wrestling, yeah, okay, I could see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that could have. Well, no, yeah, but he still had a broken neck at that point. Yes, yeah, so I don't think how long he will last in that either. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So much safer for him in wrestling in the long run. Well, in the long run, I don't know about that, right? Yeah. But last thing he wants from one of them, the fatal Kevin Randleman uh, neck drop things, because that's yeah. that's. Yeah, it's, a... it's not the best. But yeah. but as far as a career goes, and a, yeah, it's quite a lengthy career. Yeah, it's a um, lengthy, amazing career. And he had quite a lot of uh, title wins, you know, yeah. world title wins. Like yeah. it's funny because I think he had a T-shirt saying he was a thirteen-time world champion or stuff like that, right? But yeah. I I think he started counting things that weren't world ta- like weren't champions. Um, so okay, he is six time TNA World Heavyweight Champion, right? Yeah, and I don't think he should have had that title for that many times no. because there was uh, not to say he wasn't good enough, right? But I think there was somewhere in his title runs, you could someone else could have had a title run, yeah, like Samoa Joe or AJ Styles or someone or, or Christopher Daniels, even, right? Yeah, uh, instead of Karen because he didn't need it, no. but anyway, six time world champion there, um, one time WCW champion. Yeah. All right, which is... A, uh, yeah, Booker T had the title. Yeah. Uh, in the... Eva- oh, the 10-man invasion match, right? Which was... 
Who is it? Um, Kurt Angle, Stone Cold, The Rock, Untaken and Kane, was it? I think so. Versus, versus, uh, versus, versus Rhino, I think. I think Rhino, the Dudleys. RVD, the Dudleys. Yeah. No, actually, no, don't think, no, 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 it wasn't RVD. It wasn't no, RVD. no, no. Booker T? Yeah. And, and someone, right? Might be Shane. DDP, know. might be, right? Yeah. This is before they started clowning him out. Yeah. Yeah. Which uh, and then um, Booker T got put in the submission. And he started tapping like a man possessed because yeah. he's like ankle, okay, ankle gently caressed uh, Booker T's ankle, and Booker T was tapping. Yeah, <laughs> like what? <laughs> Even though they won that match, because Stone Cold stunned uh, Kurt Angle, it's like well, uh, yeah, but. Mm. And when you look at that invasion team, by the way, versus the invasion team that ended up happening at Survivor Series, where you had Stone Cold and. Kurt Angle on the invasion team. Yeah. And Shane McMahon. Yeah. Shane. Like, yeah. Right? So, yeah, and then you had RVD and who was it? RVD and Booker T, maybe? I think RVD, Booker T. Well, on the uh, Survivor Series team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Booker T, RVD, Kurt Angle, Stone Cold, I think Shane. Yeah, so it's like, okay, you made up the invasion team out of your own wrestlers. And it's one thing, by the way, to say this is Stone Cold Steve Austin, right? Yeah. But if you said, oh, no, he's he was in WCW as stunning Steve Austin, and then you push that, at least you, you could add more legitimacy to the invasion. Yeah. Even though they created Stone Cold in, in, in that way. Anyways, because um, the stunning as Steve Austin and, and uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin are completely different. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, one's more extreme version of the other. Yeah, yeah, put it that way. But uh, Kurt Angle, yeah, one-time WCW champion, which he won the title. Like he made I don't, made Booker T look like a bit of a chump. Not his fault, of course. No, but um, yeah. that's why the book. And then when Booker T won the title back, it's like knife, like Stone Cold. They, it was two versus one, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then yeah, uh, one-time World Heavyweight Champion and four-time WWE Champion. So one, two, three, six, twelve-time World Champion. And I think he put it technically, and I know if you count the IWGB, IWGB title, yeah. he is a 13 time world champion. Um, but I think he's put himself as a 15 time world champion in one of his merchandise or something like that. So I don't know if he counts as Olympic gold medal, what his two he... Olympic gold medals as, as, as world champions, which they are, but. Wait, he was the first TNA champion, right? When it's put yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Um, yeah, NWA the... thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. So the only way the way the only the only way I think Kurt Angle's logic works mm. is if you count the two Olympic gold medals as well. Um, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know, yeah. even though you don't really count them because they're, they're separate categories as far as sports are concerned. Yeah, yeah. But hey, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. Our boy Kurt Angle. Um, yeah. Battered himself for our entertainment. Yeah, right? he did. So I, I, I um, to I, levels that he did not need to do and no, probably sh- should not have that. done either. No. Yeah, that's why I tip my hat to him and I thank the wrestling gods for allowing him to grace the ring for that. Yeah. Still survive yeah. and not be like a. I mean, he's not in the greatest condition, right? No. But he's not exactly a, 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 like a man withering away in yeah. front of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good on him. Good oh. On him. Um, have you ever seen the films that he's in? No, I don't want him either. I want him. Okay, okay. So I saw, I saw two. Uh, I saw a couple of films that we've in, right? Yeah. Um, one was Dylan Dog, Dead of Night. I don't know if you've seen it or heard of it. Brendan Ralph plays the, the the lead character. Um, the guy who Sam Huntington who plays Jimmy Olsen plays a side character in that as well, like okay. a sidekick. Yeah. Um, Kurt Angle plays. What's it called? One of the lead uh, villain, or even the henchman, or something like that, in it, and it's just like, okay, um, yeah. I mean, I look at all Brandon Rafters and look how Kurt Angle. They say he's six foot, right? Yeah, I think he's five ten or something like. That. I don't think he's six foot. Is it? I thought who what Brandon Ralph? I'm pretty, I... No, 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 no. Um, what Kurt? Uh, Kurt Angle. Oh yeah, no, he yeah. must be about five, five eleven, six foot, if that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so Kurt Angle was uh yeah one of the the. 
main like villains in that or something like that. Oh, yeah. I, I, can't, I can't. I mean, I watched it once. So I can't remember. It was all right. It was all right. But mm. yeah. Anyways, um, and uh, Warrior. If you ever remember, ever seen that? Yeah. Film. No, I haven't seen. I've seen a bit of pieces of that. I haven't actually seen all of it yet. All right. So, um, Warrior with Tom Hardy and Joel Edgerton. Yeah. And uh, it's like an MMA tournament and stuff like that, which makes sense. Yeah. Kurt Angle not playing Kurt Angle plays a Russian. <laughs> Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and he's basically the. I don't want to say necessarily the big bad, but the best. The, you know, like it's a middleweight uh, tournament for the best fighters of the world. Yeah. Somehow, Tom Hardy, who who is a soldier. Yeah. Right now, I I say that so somehow. What I mean is they're not really established as MMA guys. Mm. Right. He's a soldier. Having his storyline, and someone got in the, the eight man uh, the eight man tournament or whatever it is sixteen yeah. man tournament, and his brother is a school teacher who does MMA on the side because he used yeah. to he, he, like you know do that, but he kind of came out of it. Yeah, and yeah, and uh, yeah, they they got in this World Warrior tournament somehow. Yeah. All right, <laughs> fair enough. It's a really good movie actually though. Um, Kurt Angle power bombs someone in there. Okay, and you're like, wait a minute. In MMA, right? yeah, you cannot really power bomb someone. No, you can't because a power bomb is like an assisted move, unless you yeah, well, you're that strong to like throw yeah. someone off. I mean, there's, there's, the the only logical way you sh- you you could do a power bomb is if you knock someone so so groggy, right, yeah. that they're stumbling about, and then you can like bend them over and wrench them up without any uh you know um any, 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 their capabilities of stopping you. Yeah. But by that point, if they're that groggy, they would have flopped on the floor or that the referee would call a match because, you know... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's limp. He's limp. They can't no... protect themselves, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like, there's no benefit of power bombing no. someone at that point. You just let them just drop on the floor or something like that. Or throw more punches, you know? Yeah. No. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that was that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think you should watch the film at some point, even though, you know... Um, then watch for the gimmick of Kurt Angle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course not. Um, this is a se- like similar to a Rocky film, but not. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. You have so, sold it to me. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, final thoughts on our boy. Uh, our boy is he is our boy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he is our boy. I like yeah. him. Uh, final thoughts on our boy. Um, and and uh, look back at his career. Like, I, I I think it, I think it's good by the way that he's he didn't really do a lot of those over the top gimmick matches, very arcade matches and stuff like, that, but not like hardcore or tables, chairs, legend and chairs and that stuff. Yeah. Because oh boy, he'd have been he'd have been worse off than he is now. Yeah, he would be probably dead if I'm honest. If he yeah done. All oh the my stuff. goodness! Do you remember the one line that when he was um, what's it called? Uh, GM, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn were talking to him. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And and, he, and he's like, my tag di- tag team division's full, but I hear TNA is hiring. Yeah. And we're like, ooh. <laughs> See, I I laughed for a second, like, but it's not called. It hasn't been called TNA for years now. But yeah. okay, sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I get the joke, but yeah. All right, sure. I guess that's sort of their way of acknowledging it, but not not but not acknowledging them at the oh, same time. Yeah, so it was uh, another thing actually from uh, remember, uh, what, another Kurt Angle match that I remember in TNA, and I can't remember who was champion yeah. at the time, but it was Rhino, Christian Cage, and Kurt Angle in a match. I think it might have been it might have been either number one contenders or it might have been Kurt Angle was champion. Mm. This is when TNA was uh, only an hour long, an hour long including breaks, so it was only four, four, forty-five minutes long. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, Smojo came out to shake the people's hands, so it might have been number one contender match. Anyway, he attacks Kurt Angle before, for no reason whatsoever. Well, for, before the bell, right? So the match yeah. hasn't started yet. Yeah. And then um, he gets thrown out. And then they basically have a match that goes on the entire broadcast. Okay. Yeah. The triple threat match, the triple threat match is that long, okay. which was quite neat, actually, when you look at it. You're like, oh, you know what? That's kind of a cool thing to do. Yeah, 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 but you can't yeah. really do that in a show. Uh, you can't have a three-hour-long match or something like that. You know, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. 
But you could yeah. do like you know one time or, or like not not multiple times, but you could do it every so often where it's a match that takes that long to do or yeah. most of the broadcast or something like that because you know when, it, when it's short enough like that. Hmm. You yeah. can't get around it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think Kurt Angle and, and Brock Lesnar have a one uh, hour Iron Man match um, on a SmackDown show. Yeah, it did. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was awesome. That match. Yeah. yeah. Um, which then had breaks as well. So yeah, yeah. So Which is not a thing to do, by the way. You would have thought they saved it for a pay per view, but hey. Nah, because on TV, they need to sort of rest holes, can't you? Like, rest holes. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. It's true, sure. It's true. Yeah. So, like, that's why you barely really see, like, hour long Iron Man matches, really, do you? Because yeah. it's kind of taxing on the body. Yeah. 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 Cool. Oh. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, uh, I'm glad he turned his life around-ish. Yeah, same. same. Um, then spiral in, and he could have just been a statistic uh, at yeah. a certain point. Yeah. So good on him. Also, I mean, Jeff Garrett basically stole his wife. <laughs> no, I joke about it. I joke yeah. about it. But as far as storyline goes, because there's there was a chant. I went to TNA um, show at one point, and yeah. uh, when Kurt Angle. When Jeff Garrett came out for his match, they were trying uh, sloppy seconds at, um, at uh, yeah. Jeff Garrett, which I was like, oh, that's kind of funny, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then it turned into an angle yeah, uh, where Jeff Jarrett... I don't, yeah, I have to say, good. I don't I don't know how they, uh, they are relationship-wise and whatnot, but it's yeah. just like, okay, so your wife is with someone else, ex-wife, whatever, right? Yeah. You, you, he might be in another relation, whatever, right? Yeah. But the fact that they they did have their match, uh, and as far as I remember, I recall it was a pretty good match. Yeah, I think um, it was. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it, it didn't, and they they didn't seem to like have any bad blood against each other. Well, yeah. there was a bit of bad blood before it, but I think by the time they had the match, and that it all got sorted out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's during that that match, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, professional, professional. Um, you said you watched. Did you watch that 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 match where he filled in for Roman Reigns? Yeah. Um, yeah, the Shield against Miz, Cesaro, Braun Strowman, and Kane. Yeah, uh, I didn't watch that match, by the way. How was it? It was pretty good. It was. I I haven't watched it ever since, but from what I remember of it, I highly enjoyed it. Yeah, I would probably watch it again to see. If would you recommend was. I watch it? Uh, yeah. Okay, why not? Why not? Right? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Only, only because it's weird to see. He's like, Cat Angle. I, I've seen the pictures. Cat Angle come out in shield gear. Yeah. <laughs> and he's so happy to be with the shield. <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh, uh, yeah, but <laughs> all right. That's so weird. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. And then I think a couple of weeks later on a house show or something, it was Triple H. Yeah. Oh, cool. the Triple H team with them. Yeah. In the right gear and everything, he looked super happy to do it as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not 100 percent by the way on Kurt Angle winning all the titles in TNA. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Samoa Joe should have won all the titles in TNA and held it like that. I mean, that would have made him more. Yeah, that would have like, made him better. But you know, um, I only say that because he's more X Division than Kurt Angle is, and it seemed like Kurt Angle win the X Division title to. Win it add, to add something to his uh, yeah, uh, thing but not not he's not specifically part of that. Though to that being said, Josh Alexander won it the Division title, and he's more Olympic wrestling, so that's you know yeah. Um, but when Abyss and Bobby Lashley won those titles, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That the yeah. Bobby Lashley one made more sense to me because he was a monster, so he can do whatever he wants, sort of thing. But the yeah. Abyss one made no sense to me. Yeah, especially since I want to say Kurt Angle's capable of tangling with the X Division people because he, his weight <laughs> loss <Yeah. laughs> at that point, <laughs> like he could he could have really he could have had a a good run in the X Division. Um, and I say that in the sense that he kind of helped the title at some points. I thought was better than the World Title uh, because of the caliber of people within it, but. Yeah. He was cap- fully capable of winning that title and helping elevate it. Yeah. Uh, make, like making everyone look good in the, that. Because it... the faster paced guys could not carry him necessarily, but be in the right positions to do certain things. Yeah. 
for him. But yeah. and in then um it like makes things look more spectacular. But then, you know, I mean he could slow down if he needed to, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um and I think he could have had a good run in the X Division just to help him legitimize it a lot more. Um but yeah. Uh yeah, so I think that is uh us concluding this talk on Kurt Angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. The yeah. Olympic hero. Yes. Yes. Uh, um, have you seen Foxcatcher? No, because that's loosely based on him, isn't it? I think it, it, it not not necessarily it was based on him. I no, think but he, like it, the guy who coached him or something. Yeah. 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 Which I have seen. Your boy Channing Tatum's in it. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised. I'm watch- I've watched a bit yeah. of it, but it's it's deadly serious though. Yeah, because even Steve Carell and Marvel Boy, he's in it as well. And yeah, like that's and, his first serious roles on that. Yeah, he, he's he's like completely not himself. Yeah, uh, even if they put that fake nose on him and stuff like that, but you wouldn't have. It's like when he Fletcher was the Joker, and you're like, but underneath the 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 augmentation or you know the adjustments to the face and stuff, you, you're like, actually they do not act like themselves. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Uh. Yeah. I'm the fake Russian who power bomb a man in an MMA match. See why Chung. And I am the man who lives his life by the three eyes. Integrity, intelligence, and the other one. <laughs> God, In- integrity, intelligence, and... Oh, shit. Uh, it's not intimidation. Nah. Integrity, intelligence, and it take... No. Uh, oh, because we said it earlier. How do I, yeah. for- How do I forget it? Oh, I've forgotten. Yeah. yeah. And it's true. It's damn true. Oh. <laughs> Uh, what was it? Wait, it's TNA. It was. It's true. It's damn true. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, yeah. Because that's when he he did the his first video appearance. Yeah, and he flipped the top. Like they 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 played it like it could have been Goldberg or something like that. Yeah, as well because it was bold person with like you know built and then he flipped the towel over his head and yeah. he said it's true. It's damn true. And then he had the the uh, mouth guard that which was uh the t- uh, TNA in it. Yeah, and then the NWB WWE. What was it? Was it? It's true. It, it's true, it's true. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And thank you for oh, listening. Hold on. Hey, what? No, no, you put that out, right? Yeah. Um, His theme, theme musics, right? Yeah. Uh, do you remember the Patriot had his fame, uh, Kurt Angle's theme music previous? I yeah, think they yeah, just yeah. went for the American Glory kind of music, which yeah. they had. Yeah. Which really fit Kurt Angle. Yeah. And then they Edge, your boy Edge, you suck. Yeah. You suck. Which... Somehow messed with the timing perfectly. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. And then he yeah. could never shake it. I think when he got shifted to ECW, yeah, they tried to do a little remix of his yeah. song. So <laughs> and then yeah. yeah. And then he had the music. Yeah, what was it? Um, it was rap. Yeah, it was um, by Trademark, John Cena's cousin. Um. I forgot what it's called, but dun, 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 dun. yeah. Uh, you know what? I think, did he always have it, or did he have the fuse in the beginning? Um, I think he always had it. As soon as he came to TNA, yeah. I, I, I feel like worked for the candle, but somehow they made it work. Same, same way, by the way. When he the game, he played the game, so but, all right, okay. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh sorry I was just like oh it's new music. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, it's cool, that's cool. Um I can't remember the end bit. Yeah, so thank you all for listening to us discuss the legendary career of Curtis Angle, aka Kurt Angle. I've no idea why I call, keep calling him Curtis Angle. It might not be his, his actual name. Um was you a fan of Kurt? Um where did you prefer him in the WWE or the W wait, sorry what? WWE or TNA? Let us know and you could do that by Leave in a comment in the comment section if you're watching this on YouTube or you can leave us a tweet or a Instagram message and you can find all of our social media handles in the description the section of the video or the podcast little detail bit. And don't forget to give us a like, a share, um, tell your friends about us, leave us a review and Until next time, guys, drink all your milk and thank you for taking a trip with us around the multiverse. Bye. Bye. 
My life since I was a child has been to prove a point, to prove that I'm the best athlete in the world. 1996, I won a gold medal. And people are talking to me about some guy named Shawn Michaels gliding down from the rafters that year and putting on a wrestling clinic. And that ate me up, Shawn. Because truth be told, you are one of the best of all time. But to even suggest that you're the greatest wrestler of this generation is an insult to me and everything I stand for. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle! He is the most decorated athlete in WWE history. Oh, it's true! Kurt Angle is a former European champion, tag team champion, intercontinental champion, WCW champion, a king of the ring, and a four-time WWE champion. I beat five of the greatest superstars in WWE history in a six-man hell in a cell. The heart of Kurt Angle is beating stronger than ever. I know how to take you down. The ankle lock! The ankle lock!